Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel Physics by GRB sir. In this video, I am going to teach you the superposition principle. Already you knew that the Coulomb's law. The Coulomb's law you can use only for the point charges. Suppose a system consists of n number of uh, charges means you have to modify the Coulomb's law with the help of the superposition principle. You consider a situation as shown in the figure. The surface of the material contains n number of uh, positive charges q2, q3, q4, q5, q6, q7 up to n number of uh, I mean qn number of uh, positive charges are there on the surface of this material and you consider another one positive charge q1 which is uh, located uh, just out of this surface let r21 is the distance between the charge q2 and q1 and r31 is the distance between the charge q3 and q1 similarly R n1 is the distance between nth charge and the charge q1. As I told you, all these charges are positive charges. And it is a charge q1 also positive charge. That's what there will be a electrostatic force of repulsion between these charges and this one. So, we have to find out the force of repulsion is produced on the charge Q1 individually. I mean, how much of force of repulsion is produced by the charge Q2 and how much of force of repulsion is produced on the charge Q1 due to the charge Q3 and due to the charge Q4 and due to the charge Q5, Q6 up to Qn number of charges. After that, you need to add everything then you will uh, get the total force is exerted on the charge q1 by the other charges so it is the procedure we are going to follow now and uh, this uh, principle is called uh, superposition principle right so first let us uh, try to uh, find the the force uh, on q1 exerted by the charge q2 so, for that simply you can uh, use the Coulomb's law. So, Q2 is uh, here and uh, it is the line of uh, joining. So, that's what F12 vector F12 vector will be acting in this direction. And its uh, magnitude uh, will be equal to K into Q1 Q2 divided by R21 square. And the direction is R21 cap right and similarly the charge uh, q3 exert a force on charge uh, q1 in this direction and this force is f13 vector and uh, it can be expressed uh, by using this expression already you know that how to uh, write these expressions Similarly, the force on Q1 exerted by the charge Qn is K into Q1 Qn divided by Rn1 square and the unit vector is Rn1 cap. The superposition principle states that the total force acting on the given charge Q1 is equal to the vector sum of the forces exerted on it by all the other charges. Remember my dear students, actually uh, not a simple addition. We have to perform the vector addition. Vector addition in the sense uh, in 11th standard itself uh, you have studied that in vector addition there will be ith component, jth component, kth component like will be there. So you have to add one ith component with another one ith component, one jth component with another one jth component. So that is called a vectorial sum. So here you have to perform the vectorial sum only. 
so therefore the total force on the charge q1 is f1 total vector which is equal to just add the, all the forces acting on it and uh, you just uh, substitute the corresponding expressions in this uh, formula and uh, finally take the k commonly out and uh, you will be getting this expression by this way you can use the superposition principle to calculate the total force acting on the charge in the video ungal pidichirundhuchuna like pannunga share pannunga marakama channel subscribe pannunga thank you students